Hello everyone, you of Gamer Tech here today, and we're back with some more Spiral Knights. Woo! I'm so pumped for this series, guys. I think it's gonna be amazing. I think you'll love it too. Alright, we are back in the control room. Let's go over to Haven because we're gonna try and knock out a ton of quests today. Um, this will there will be a lot of talking today because, you know, trying to get situated with the game. Um, because you guys may not know the game so well. Um, we're going to be doing all those missions that are like, this is what the bazaar is, this is the sword merchant, you know, just stuff like that. Um, most of them have it, it's pretty normal. So, alright, Haven is loaded up. Um, I did some trading, actually, with my, with one of my friends, 8kill75. So, if we open our inventory here, which I've actually remapped to E, um, we see that the... Uh, we actually, uh, did a expansion mission run. I bought expansion a while ago, so now I have the Dark Reprisal. Um, still sporting this protogum. I have the prototype rocket hammer, uh, which, as you can see, is better, but the speed's really slow. But I think we will equip it, so let's equip that as weapon one. So, we go down the helmet, we see we have the Wolver Cap. And the Wolver Coat, he helped me get those. But we can't equip those till we're level 2, so that's what we're about to do. Man, my frames are really suffering. Oh, that's pretty abysmal, and there's no settings I can change really to fix that. But rank. Alright, welcome to Haven. Reporting for duty. Lieutenant Farron is responsible for overseeing the Clockworks mining operation in Haven. Report to him and learn about the situation in Haven and Spiral HQ's mission to reach the core of the cradle. All right, let's start. All right, I'm gonna do my horrible voice acting today. Hello, you gamer tech. My name's Cora. Come on, guys, don't hate. Farron. Well met, soldier, and good work on reaching our base camp here in Haven. I'm Lieutenant Farron. I have been assigned by Captain Oslo to oversee our clockwork's mining operation. Before you lies the arcade, a fascinating complex that serves as our link into the heart of the clockworks. Since you're new here, I'll give you a quick rundown of what Spiral HQ has us doing here. Sure sounds important. Tell me how it all works. After the Skylark crashed, its primary Terium core exploded, destroying a portion of the ship and leaving it without a main power source. Since so far we haven't found we haven't found hundreds of tons of Terium just lying around, the bird has effectively lost its wings. With the help of the strangers, we were able to set up a small base of operations here in Haven. Once we got our systems online, we discovered that within the heart of this rock resonates a power signature of unprecedented magnitude. If we somehow harness that power... That's exactly right! The core of the Clockworks could very well maintain the energy source we need to create a new power for the Skylark and restore its operational condition. There's only one problem. The Clockworks themselves seem to be built like some kind of crazy death trap! Reaching the core is not going to be easy. I'm up to the task! That's the kind of spirit I like to see! Continue to complete missions for Spiral HQ as they are assigned to you. With your help, we stand a chance at reaching the core and saving Isora. Roger that, Lieutenant! Then I now authorize you to take on arcade missions. You can access the arcade via your mission interface or approach the gates directly here in the arcade itself. There is a massive world beneath your feet waiting to be explored. Good luck to you! Alright, mission complete. Report to Lieutenant Farron in the Haven Arcade. Woo, we beat it. Got 10 prestige. We are now up to 115 prestige, as you see there. Five more dim fire crystals for, lev for leveling up our weapons. And we are rank 2, I believe. Are we rank 2? In fact, um, I might actually be able... Uh, helmet, or helmet, let's see. No. Oh, it, it requires a rank 3 1. It's two stars. Sorry. Alright, so now. Um. Oh, yeah. We already beat that. Okay, so. Alright, um. The Haven Bazaar is a place where all manner of item related goods and services can be found. Whether you're in the market for a more powerful sword or just want to make your armor stand out in a crowd, it's got what you need. 
Alright, so let's go and discover what the Haven Bazaar has to offer. Bukamo. Welcome to Haven Bazaar. It's a pleasure to meet you, you old gamer tag. My name is Buk My name is Bukamo. Since I work here in the Bazaar, Spirit Q has asked me to show new arrivals around this fabulous epicenter of commerce and let them know everything it has to offer. So let's go for a quick tour, shall we? Try and keep up. I walk fast. <laughs> she had a very manly voice there for a second. <sighs> so there. Gotta love it. All right. Loading. Load faster. Oh, by the way, the ramp card will be here today or tomorrow. Looks like Quillian here. So you... Looks strangers like Quillian here sell you weapons and armor. Each one specializes in a particular kind of item. So talk to them and find out what they carry. They're not very chatty, but they always have a fresh stock of items every day. Just be sure that you've reached the appropriate rank to equip an item. We're having that problem right now. Do strangers sell anything besides weapons and gear? I'm glad you asked. They certainly do. Let's head over to Vitell. We follow the camel. Vitell here will sell you a selection of recipes as well as personal color changers and other items. Recipes for weapons and gear? That's right. You can acquire recipes and materials in order to, to alchemize weapons and gear at the alchemy stations. Come on, I'll show you one. Roger. Here we have an alchemy station that you'll no doubt become very familiar with as you upgrade your arsenal. But no need to worry about that too much, as Spiral HQ is likely to give you a mission later that explains everything. Well, that about does it for the first tour. Do you want me to go over it all again so you think you've got it? I think I've got it, become Bacamo. Thanks. Wonderful. I'm glad I could help you get your bearings. Good luck to you, Yo Gamertag. Thanks, Bacamo. I'll be seeing you. Well, glad that's over. Crack! Right. So, we have another pumping up. Vis visit the advanced training hall and learn some helpful new techniques. All right, let's go check that out. The advanced training hall is where you can go and just test out all your new weapons, learn about the game. Um, they have all the different uh, block types here and just stuff like that. Potions, you can health cancers, you can test it all out. Vitapods, everything. Conway. Welcome to the Advanced Training Hall, you old gamer tag. Here you will find useful survival tips to help you on your journey through the clockworks. Would you like a tour of the facilities? Okay. Over here we have a collection of valuable items and objects you will likely find in the clockworks. Some items can be used to attack monsters, like these files. You can practice picking them up and throwing them in this target range over here. Continue. Along the north wall here, we have all sorts of blocks, switches, doors, and buttons from the clockworks. If you want to come over the devious and deadly mechanisms down there, I suggest you become familiar with how these work. And? Anything else, Conway? Yes. On the east side, we have a couple of combat practice rooms. These training cubes are mostly harmless and perfect for experimenting with your weapons and shield techniques. That sounds interesting. Anything else? Yes. Lastly, we have the trap and hazard rooms. You can come here to see how you can sometimes affect traps and also learn about traps that deal different kinds of damage. Continue. Well, that's the end of the tour, you gamer tag. Would you like me to go over that again? Or are you ready to try everything out for yourself? Huh. <laughs> I think I'm ready to go. Great then. I will go ahead and give you credit for this mission. Remember, if you'd like to come back for more training, the advanced training hall is located in Haven Town Square. Take care out there, you old gamer tag. Thanks, I'm off to train. Alright, that looks pretty awesome. Ooh, okay, so visit the advanced training hall and learn some helpful new techniques. We beat that. We got a super stun gun. Let's go test it out. All right. So um, we're going to go look around this place before we go check anything out. As you can see, on the far 
uh, left of the screen. We have some players there. Uh, that's what it's gonna be like when you're in action and everything. That's pretty cool. So let's go test out. Wow, there's a lot of guys here. Oh, boom! Oh, get wrecked. That's pretty sweet. Let's see what the charge up is. Remember, you can charge up by attacking and holding. Boom! Boom! Man, that is awesome. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely, definitely be using this. Let's test out some of this stuff. I think this is an oil pot to where you can throw it. Yep, I was right. It splashes on the ground, and you can take a fire pot, and ba-boom! Interesting. They kind of change the physics. So there's a protagon. That just dealt seven damage. Let's test it out again. Load! Yeah, it's dealing seven damage per, uh, pretty constantly. So let us check out the super stun gun we just got from Conway. Let's equip it as weapon too because we do want our uh, prototype rocket hammer. So let's test this baby out. Oh, that looks really cool. Let's test out its charge. The charge deals 16 damage, that's nice. And, ooh, it deals eight. Okay, so it's slightly better and it has a chance to cause stun, which is great, because that means they can't attack us as much. So let's go and check out that last mission and then we can equip our Wolver stuff. Biotech Moreland is in charge of the lab located in the Haven Garrison. He seeks a capable knight willing to brave the clockworks in order to secure a cache of battle sprites Lost during the crash of the Skylark. Ooh, looks like we have a full out mission, and it's gonna give us a big beast basher that might be slightly better than what we have. I think since it says beast, it might deal um, piercing damage, or maybe a, a damage bonus to the beast family. You know, I'm gonna cover this with you real quick. There are um, certain main types of families that have different statistics. Whoa. The lab. Oh, I've never been here. This is awesome. Biscotti! I forgot about Biscotti! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! Oh, wait, no. No! Oh, oh my gosh! I remember that guy. He's awesome! Oh, he used to sell cake hats! Alright, uh, we need to go check out Morlin here. Greetings, young gamer tag. I hear you've recently arrived in Haven from across the great chasm. While you're out there, did you encounter any of our battle sprites? What's a battle? What's a battle sprite? Oh, that's right. You're a new recruit. Most knights encounter their first sprite on the battlefield. Chances are you've not had the opportunity to see one yet. Allow me to explain. Continue. A battle sprite is an AI-driven con contract capable of reconnaissance and light combat support. That's new. Battle sprites are highly adaptable. Their AI allows them to acutely observe their surroundings and aid their knight in the most optimal way. Sounds very useful. How do I get one? When a battle sprite is issued to a knight, a bond is written into the sprite's code to support the knight no matter what the circumstances. They will never leave your side. Unfortunately, the cargo crates holding the Skylark's cache of battle sprites fell deep into the clockworks after the crash. How can I help, Moylan? A recon squad has managed to track down where many of these battle sprites have landed. Rendon has been sent ahead to scout out three of these sites and meet up with you in the clockworks. You must secure our battle sprites before they fall into enemy hands. Leave it to me, Moylan. I'll secure those sprites. I think he's leveled up. A big beast basher. Let's go test that out. And that took well. Let's not necessarily test it out as much as uh, look at his stats. So five swords already. That's crazy. So the big beast basher. Mm, I kind of think the prototype is. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, let's. Okay, most monsters, as you can see, the prototype rocket hammer deals elemental damage, even though it has slow speed. Most monsters are more sensitive to elemental than they are piercing, so we're gonna go with that. And I mean, normal's okay, but I'd rather go with elemental. All right. Oh, we're still not there yet. Oh, we have to be all that before we can uh, equip our Wolver stuff, dang. Okay, guys, 
Um, hmm. You know, I think we're going to save that mention for the next episode. So have the best of days from the old gamer tag. Try to zoom in. Try to zoom in. What's my zoom button? Zoom. Everyone, follow me. Okay, forgot the zoom button. Anyways, have the best of days from Yield Gamer Tag.